and welcome to my channel. Today I will discuss how to add conditional logic to your queries using case statements. First, I will go over how to categorize data based on different conditions. And secondly, I will cover how to perform calculations based on conditions. In SQL Server, the case statement is used to add conditional logic to queries. It's a lot like an if-else statement in high-level programming languages. The case statement is used to perform different actions based on different conditions within a single SQL query. The case statement contains six main sections containing keywords. Let's take a look at some of the keywords in the case statement. We begin with the select keyword, and the select keyword is used to list the columns that we want to display. The case keyword is used to define our case statement and it is used right before the conditions that we want to set up. The when keyword is used to create a condition and the then keyword is also used in combination with the when keyword to also help with setting up the condition except it specifically focuses on creating a result from a condition. The else keyword is used as a default result when there is a condition that doesn't fall within any of the defined ranges of conditions. And then we have here the end and the as keywords. And they're used to create a name for the new column that will display our results for each condition. And then finally we have the from keyword. And it's used to specify the table in which we are querying. Now let's take a look at an example which categorizes items in stock for products at a store. First let's take a look at the table in which we're going to query which is called the products table. So we use select asterisk which means select all from the products table. So select all the columns from the products table and that's going to open up our products table. And as you can see here, the products table begins with a product ID column. And here are all the product IDs. And then we have the product names. And so here are all the product names. Then we have the price column with the prices. The sale price column with all of the sale prices. And then we have an in stock column and an on order column. So the in stock column is telling us how many of these items are in stock. And then the on order column tells us how many of the items are on order. So it gives us the quantity of how many are on order and how many are in stock in the in stock column. So now we'll take a look at our case statement which will categorize the amount of stock for the products. So we begin with the select keyword and we're using it to display our columns. The product ID we want to display, the product name, and the in stock column. Now note this comma at the end. It's actually very, very important that you have this comma here because that's letting the database management system know that there's going to be another column in our output after the in stock column. So we'll have a total of four columns the product ID, product name, in stock, and then one more column will follow the in stock column in our output. And here's the case keyword that we said that we're used, it's used to define a case statement before setting up your conditions. And here's the when keyword along with the then keyword. And remember we said that they were used to set up a condition and that then is used to create a result from a condition. So, so far we have select the product ID column, the product name column, the in stock column, and here's our case. When in stock is less than 10, then we want to categorize that stock amount as low. And notice you must put single quotes around the uh, text that you display for the category. And then it says, when in stock is greater than or equal to 10 and 
in stock is also less than 20, then categorize it as medium. And again, you see the single quotes. The third condition, when in stock is greater than or equal to 20, then categorize as high. And then we have an area that says else. Otherwise, put unknown for the category. So it won't be low, medium, or high. It will be unknown. But in this case, that can't happen because this takes care of all the quantities that are in the table. But it's always good to have a default set up inside your case statement. Then we come to the end and the as keywords. And remember we said that the end and as is used to create a name for the new column. So that column I was telling you about that comes after this comma is going to be called category. And that category column is going to hold these values. It'll either have a low value, medium, or high based on these conditions that we set up here. And then we talked about the from keyword. And the from keyword is used to specify the table that we're querying. Now I threw in a little extra. This is called the order by clause. And this will place all of our values that are in the category column. As remember earlier we said end as category. That's that new column. It will sort all of our values for that column in ascending order. But first we're going to run the query without this. So I just had this down here as extra. As you can see all the query should end with a semicolon. So we're just going to first run it without the order by clause. So we'll select all of that and click execute. And here you see all the different categories. Because up here we said when in stock is less than 10, then categorize it as low. So here's a 1 and it's low. Less than 10, even 0, that's low. So for all of these conditions, you can clearly see the categories. So now I'm going to add the order by column, the order by clause, so that we can kind of clean this column up a little bit. So I have to delete this semicolon here because the query has to end in a semicolon, and this time we're going to include the order by clause. So we select all of it, click execute, and now you can see that all of the high categories are together, and you got the lows and the mediums. So again, here's another example. When in stock is greater than or equal to 20, it's high. So you can see this is 20. It's equal to 20. And all of these are greater than or equal to 20. So you have high. So as you can see here, this is a really good example of a case statement that categorizes the amount of stock for the products and lists them in a new column called category. For the next query, we're going to perform calculations based on conditions. We're going to add two discounts based on two conditions. So first, let's take a look at the table that we're going to use, which is called the service plans table. So we do select asterisk from service plans, which will open up the service plans table. And these are plans that accompany. We have digital cable digital phone and internet services and long distance. So the first column is the plan IDs. Second column is the plan names. Then we have the plan descriptions. Then we have the plan prices. And then we have the discounted prices. Okay, so let's take a look at our case statement in which we're going to add two discounts based on two conditions. So we begin with the select keyword and we want to display the plan name and the plan price from the service plans table here. And again we have a comma behind the plan price column because we're going to have another column displayed after plan price. Then we have the case keyword and then we begin our conditions. The condition is when the plan name is equal to web hosting which means when the plan name is web hosting, then take the plan price times 
0.95 which will give us a 5% discount. Now keep in mind that this will not affect your query as long as you have these two lines in front of the the uh, the uh, typing that I have here 5% discount it lets you know it's not part of the query it's just a comment in the query so these green areas are just comment comments within the query so then we have a second condition it says when the plan name is internet and it also notice that these uh these values have single quotes around them because they're text values so they require single quotes then plan price times 0 0.90 to apply a 10 percent discount and then we have the else keyword which is the default result which means otherwise if it's not one of these two conditions then zero will be placed in that column and then the end as keywords remember we said end, end as is used to create a name for the new column that's going to descript, display all of our results so the new column will be named discounted price so it will be plan name plan price and then a column called discounted price and then we close with the from keyword which means we're going to be querying the service plans table so we click execute and as you can see here we look for web hosting which is right here the plan price is $19.99 the discounted price is $18.99 which is a 5% discount that's here and then our other one is the internet plan so if you see internet is $19.99 for the price but the 10% discount is seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents so as you can see here we just created two conditions and we performed calculations based on those conditions so the condition the first one was web hosting if it's web hosting then apply a five percent discount if it's internet then apply a ten percent discount I hope you enjoyed learning about case statements today to support the channel, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like more in-depth learning, check out my SQL courses in the description section below.